Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today we will be looking at how we can create index templates using index templates and component templates. We will see how we can uh, use uh, reusable component templates and prepare an index template uh, which can be applied to the index for documenting the uh, for index documenting. Okay, so I'm working on Fedora 37 workstation with Docker and Docker Compose installed on that. So, what is index template? Okay, so whenever uh, we are creating a uh, index, basically uh, it gets a set of uh, fields uh, with a set of uh, types applied dynamically, as we have so uh, seen in our uh, previous video. Okay, but uh, like we have seen like how we can change that uh, dynamic feature of uh, uh, templates by explicitly creating the index mapping okay so index mapping helps to modify the fields type and apply that uh, uh, mapping to the uh, docu uh, documents that we are indexing okay but there is a limitation with the index mapping okay so the uh, index mapping can be uh, applied to a specific index only uh, we cannot reuse that for other uh, uh, like indexes okay that's where like where the index templates come into picture and will be helpful okay so index templates uh, will help us to create reusable uh, templates which can be used in the template uh, definition file and these templates can be applied to any uh, pattern of indexes okay so these are the two benefits that we will be getting and the third benefit that we uh, get is we can may uh, create generic uh, uh, component templates which can be applied to uh, like which can be used in another uh, like index templates and that can be applied to different index patterns okay so these are the benefits that we gain uh, when uh, we will be utilizing the index templates okay so there are two types of uh, in, uh, templates that we can create uh, in Elasticsearch. One is index templates, the other one is component templates. Okay, so index templates, uh, as I said, like it helps in creating a template consisting of settings, mappings, aliases. Okay, so it can be also uh, a set of component templates. Okay, so we can create some component templates and use it in index templates, but it's not uh, mandatory okay coming to component templates like they they are nothing but reusable blocks like they are like uh, functions the or uh, blocks of code which we can use in other another templates okay so these components templates uh, will help us in creating generic uh, templates let's say like we can create a uh, component template for settings separately we can create a component template for mapping separately or we can create a template uh, for uh, aliases or whatever you can think of okay so that's what the component template is all about okay so now let us go into like how we can create uh, index templates in this video okay so as a first step like we are going to create the settings component template Okay, so let me go into my shell. Okay, please note uh, that we need to have our uh, Elasticsearch and Kibana services up and running. So for that, I'm going to start up my Elasticsearch and Kibana service uh, using the Docker Compose. Okay, so let me start my uh, Docker service. Okay, let us give it some time so that it comes up. So uh, this uh, Docker Compose file which I'm using is from the documentation of Elasticsearch. So you can uh, look at my previous uh, uh, articles and videos wherein uh, we have seen like how we can uh, set up the Elasticsearch and Kibana services using Docker Compose. Okay, so yeah. Okay, and now as you can see, my Docker uh, services are up and running. So you can check it using Docker PS. 
or Docker Compose PS. Okay, you can see all the three elastic search nodes are up and running with Kibana uh, dashboard. Okay, so let me clear my screen and go into my documentation. Okay, so now as a first step, what we want to do is create a component template uh, for generic settings. Okay, so here what we are going to do is we are going to create a template called generic settings with the following settings uh, applied okay so this is like we are applying the number of shards uh, for a particular index and the number of replicas that we want to create for a particular index okay so let me grab this request and let us go into our uh, browser uh, let me refresh my kibana portal url so let us log in Okay, so now you can go into Dev Tools in Management, and we can apply this template, component template, here. Okay, so we have created our component template named Generic Settings. Okay, so we are done with our first step in this. Let us now look into the second step that is creating a component template for mapping. Okay, so here, like we are going to take the mapping uh, our definition as shown below. So, okay, so this is a mapping definition wherein we are creating a mapping for each of the properties that is there in the uh, documents in the JSON datasets. Okay, so this category is one doc, uh, category is one field of type text text laureates first name is of type text id is of type integer so we have used the uh, mapping uh, definition that we have uh, created in our last video okay so th this is the same uh, uh, mapping definition that we have created in our last video but we are going to use it in within a template okay so let me grab this complete definition for creating the template okay so let us copy it in the dev tools so here we are going to create the prices underscore mapping template with the following mapping definition uh, it basically is, uh, has the same data that we have used for creating the uh, index mapping. So date is of uh, year is of type date, uh, share is of type integer, ID is of type integer, and all other te text, uh, all other fields are text. Okay, so let me create uh, this template. So as you can see, this has been created. Okay, now let us go into our third step. So now that we have created our uh, two templates, we will be using those two templates uh, in creating an index template. Okay. So before creating an index template, we will simulate like what uh, the settings will look like when we create an index template using component templates. Okay. So in this step, we are going to use the reusable component templates to create the index templates. Okay. So this is my request let me copy this so here you can see i'm simu simulating to create an index template uh, so here this index template is going to be applied for all these patterns index patterns and the priority of this uh, index template will be 500 basically like when we create an index template with higher priority uh, like those will be uh, taken into consideration uh, when uh, there are number of indexes uh, 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 the index templates are matching okay for a particular index if uh, let's say like there are number of index templates are matching an index template with highest priority is going to be taken into consideration okay so that's why like the priority should be high and we are using the reusable component templates here with composite of field 
okay so here we have used the generic settings template uh, component template and prices underscore mapping component template okay and yeah this is version and this is metadata for the template okay so now let us simulate this one okay so as you can see the uh, once we create uh, uh, this index template using this component templates it actually takes into consideration the component templates fields and the mappings definition that we have created separately okay so this is how your index template will look like when we actually create the index template using the component templates okay let me go into my uh, documentation so we have seen this response so it is basically the index template that is going to be created uh, if we create this uh, the actual index template using component templates okay now let us go into our step 4 where we are creating an index template with component templates uh, rather than simulating it okay so now we are going to actually create the index template using the component templates So here as you can see like we have given the index template name rather than simulate okay and the other things remain the same and we are going to put using the put request we are going to create this index template okay so now you can see that the index template has been created with these two component templates okay now it is time to index our documents okay so so as i said like this this template can be applied to the following index patterns okay so let us now create a pat, uh, index uh, index name with the following name and uh, index the documents using this python script okay so let me go into my shell so i have already the python script ready uh, which we have already seen in our previous document so this is going to uh, create that index and uh, uh, index all the documents within the JSON data sets. Okay. So let me copy that command. So we are going to invoke this Python script using this index name that is prices underscore explicit underscore mapping or we can uh, name it as templates. Prices underscore templates let, let us name it as prices underscore templates example okay so this is example related to index template so we will use this name okay so let me create this one so as you can see like all our uh, documents have been indexed okay so now like we will need to validate the indexed documents okay so how we can do that okay we need to go into our portal go into discover and we can create a data view from here or you can go into stack management here Kibana data views here you can go create data view okay so you can see like our new uh, index source has been created so let us create a, a data view for this one and select the timestamp as year and save it so now our index has been created so let us go into our discover and select that index uh, data view that we have created and update the timestamp so let's say uh like for last two thousand years or thousand years so we get all the uh, get to look at the all the data okay so now you can see the index has uh, documents have been indexed you can see all the field types are as per our requirement like as per the index mapping that we have created okay so how we can validate that this index that has been created okay is actually using the template that we have created in the previous step so how we can validate that okay so that is uh, what we are going to do in our next step 
validating the index template used by index okay so for that have created is uh, prices underscore template so we are going to fetch uh, that index so this is our index but it is actually using the settings from the templates okay so provider name is prices underscore templates number of replicas number of shards is as per the template that we have created so as you can see like we have uh, like whatever template that we have created with number of shards number of replicas and uh, the mapping settings has been applied to the index so this is how like uh, we can uh, create an index template and apply it to a particular index so that the settings are applied to that specific index or index pattern so this is all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you all thanks uh, for watching this video and you guys have a great day